Welcome back to PTV News. Today is September 28, 2017, and I'm Megan Scott. And I'm Kiara Clements. Going on right now in SRT, Sunshine is meeting in room 211, Prayer is meeting in room 207, and FT8 Group is meeting in room 216. Also right now, St. Mary's College reps are going in, are in WSOY's Go Center. St. Mary's College is a four-year Catholic residential women's liberal arts college located in between Roseland and South Bend. Also today, Huntington University will be here in the GO Center from 1 to 2 this afternoon. Huntington University is a private four-year liberal arts Christian college in Indiana offering more than 70 bachelor degree programs. But you will have to hurry up and contact Mrs. Flynn if you would like to go during that time to visit. This is a reminder that going on right now in IUSB is hosting an on-site admissions day that started at 10 o'clock today and will continue until 1 in the GO Center. IUSB will be awarding $500 scholarships for eligible students during their on-site visit. Any student who holds a cumulative GPA of 3.0 or higher automatically qualifies. The scholarships are only available during their visit. IUSB will also waive the $35 application fee if you are interested in attending this IUSB event. You must register with Ms. Flynn by replying to the email she sent you on Tuesday, September 5th. You will also have to stop by the GO Center to pick up an IUSB application yet today. So giddy up, seniors. All right, moving on to our trivia winner two weeks ago. Our PTV crew stopped by Mr. Norman's SRT classroom to drop off a giant bag of checks. Special thanks to PTV's very own Courtney Cook for capturing the video of our winning class. All right, moving on to our trivia question from last week. We asked you, how much does the world's largest hamburger weigh? The answer was a whopping 2,566 pounds. Thank you to the dozens of rooms that sent in your answers via email. The winning class was Mr. Schieber's SRT classroom, expecting your surprise treat to be delivered here in a few minutes. This Saturday, the Pride of Plymouth will host the 17th Annual Harvest Festival Marching Band Invitational. This year, close to 20 high school marching bands are signed up to attend. That means around 2,000 band members and thousands of audience members will be here at PHS. Mr. Ames said this might be the largest event the PHS band has ever hosted. Tickets are $6 and that will get you into the competition all day long from 4 to 10. Listen up students, the Neighborhood Center is looking for volunteers for the Stuff a Bus program. The Stuff a Bus event will take place on Saturday, October 14th from 10 to 4 at the Martin Supermarket here in Plymouth. Martin's is also looking for student volunteers to help unload food at the Neighborhood Center where all the donated food inside the bus will be headed. If you are interested in helping out, please email Amy Porteous to sign up. Seniors, this week is considered College Go Week and it can save you and your family some money. College Application Day is this Friday, September 29th. Dozens of colleges in Indiana are offering you a fee waiver if you apply to attend their college tomorrow. In all, 47 colleges or universities have specials going on. For more information, just visit our website at ptv.phs.weebly.com where you can get the full scoop. Senior picture retakes are going on now and they just started and will continue until 12.30 this afternoon in the North Hallway. You can pick up a senior picture form from your homeroom teacher or get one in the front office if you still need to do that, but act fast. You certainly wouldn't want to be left out of the yearbook your senior year. Let's take a look at the lunch menu for today. Looks like we'll be having Bosco sticks, green beans, and anything of your choice from the fruit and veggie bar. Ladies, the Girls Who Code Club has a cool after-school opportunity open for you if you are interested in computer science and coding. The Girls Who Code Club is in its fourth year at Plymouth High School. It provides girls in grades 6 through 12 to get a chance to learn about coding from a local software developer with over 17 years of experience in the industry. The program works to inspire, educate, and equip girls with the computing skills to pursue 21st century opportunities. Computer science is a career on the rise, so if you want to see if it is a match for you, come to the Girls Who Code Club meeting on Tuesday, October 3rd after school from 3.15 to 4.30. The club meets every Tuesday up until May 16th. Bring your computer and a snack and head up to the green room on the second floor 
inside WSOI. TV Sports Today. Anyone who watches sports on TV or is in social media has probably heard about professional athletes who have chosen to take a knee during our national anthem. The situation has really been brought into the spotlight after President Trump sent out a tweet that challenged NFL owners to fire their athletes who disrespect our country and kneel, kneel during the national anthem. We wanted to see what you think about this controversial topic. So we sent out PTV's multimedia journalist, Courtney Cook, out in the halls to find out. Let's check out what some of you had to say. I think kneeling or not coming into the stadium or standing for the national anthem is a disgraceful act. I think it is completely justifiable that they are not standing for the Pledge of Allegiance or the national anthem because they're trying to bring awareness to their I think cause. kneeling for, uh, during the national anthem is extremely insulting to the millions who have sacrificed their entire lives um, uh, just for defending our people and our country, and I think it's extremely I feel like there are more important issues to focus on, like the fact that Puerto Rico is still without power due to Hurricane Maria. There are people fighting overseas to give them the right to even play the game of football in the atmosphere that they get to play it in. It's right because although some may argue that people died for the flag and that we should respect it, those people died so that we have freedom to protest. You know, they're making millions of dollars uh, playing a game and our troops are overseas fighting for their lives. You know, it's a matter of that. They're allowed to protest, that's fine, but they need to remember that this country was not founded in the last 30 years. It took a long time to get to the freedoms that we have, and I think we've come a long way. We do have a long way. I think that taking a knee for the national anthem is right because I think it's their, like, it's their right to protest. Um, I don't think that they're really disrespecting or saying that they, like, hate our country. But I think that they're saying that they know that we can do better. I think kneeling is wrong because it is disrespectful. Because it's very disrespectful to the men and women that protect our country every day. I think it's a pretty complex issue. I don't know, you know, right or wrong simply feel, goes. Personally, I think that people should stand for the national anthem. But at the same time, I also think that the freedoms that that flag represents and the freedoms that people serve that flag for today and have died for that flag for in the past go beyond simply standing for the national anthem. It also means the freedom to be able to say that I think that this is wrong. I think that this government policy is wrong. I now it's time to take a look at what's on the lined up on our PTV Sports Rundown for tonight. At 4.30, the boys' tennis sectional will be at Bremen. At 5 o'clock, the boys' soccer team will arrive at Wawa C. The girls' soccer team will be at CMA at 5 p.m. As for the ninth grade volleyball team, they will be at Goshen at 5. Also at 5.30, the PHS varsity volleyball team is taken on Goshen at home tonight. And my co-anchor has a lot more information on the game now. Any returning gymnast and those who plan to go out for gymnastics this winter need to go in the athletic office to sign up this week. Sign up sheet will be available until tomorrow. The Plymouth High School volleyball team is hosting a Go for Gold night in the varsity gym tonight. The event is called Go Gold Night for a Good Cause. Gold is the color that nationally represents pediatric cancer awareness, and both volleyball teams are coming together in honor to raise awareness that September is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. We are asking the community to bring unopened boxes of children's bandages with princesses or any kind of children's characters on them. The bandages will be donated to Beacon Children's Hospital in South Bend. Car Masters, <coughs> J&T Meister Construction, and Aflac have kindly donated the shirts that will be worn by both teams. The cost to get in the volleyball game is $5 for adults. The team traveled to Syracuse last Friday to take on the Walrus Sea Warriors. Our Allistanian Rockies turned the game into a blowout with the score uh, 34 to 6. Special mention goes out to uh, our defensive line and offensive players Cole Filson, Braxton Bennett, Cam Van Lue, and Benji Nixon. 
that he could have been a challenge along with the several injuries that occurred, but our Rockies still came out with the win. The Rockies are now 3-1 in the NLC and 5-1 overall in the season. Make sure you come out to the Rock Pile tomorrow when the Rockies face the Concord Minutemen. It is bound to be an exciting game. Kickoff is at 7. Both teams will be sporting brand new jerseys free of charge after winning a statewide Twitter contest last school year. You may remember the contest. It required fans of both PHS and CHS to vote for the biggest paired up rivals. We won courtesy of our fans. If you watched PT last, last year, then you probably remember the University of Notre Dame granted us media credentials to cover the Irish on the field alongside NBC. This year we have already had the chance to send two PTV members and we're super excited to inform you Notre Dame has granted us credentials to another game. Our two lucky students that will represent PTV are Josie Coons and media marketing student Anna Hyde. Look for them on the sidelines if you'll be watching the game on NBC because there's a chance you'll see them. They will bring you live coverage from Notre Dame Stadium from our PTV Twitter account this Saturday. So make sure you are following us at PTV at PHS. Now it is time for everyone's favorite part of our show, our PTV trivia question. So get ready to submit your answers, SRT teachers, and sele if selected, your SRT room can win a tasty prize. Today's question is, what is the largest planet in our solar system? If your room knows the answer, SRT teachers, please email your class's response to phsmarketing at plumeth.k12.in.us. Again, the question is, what is the largest planet in our solar system? SRT teachers, email your response to phsmarketing at plumeth.k12.in.us. Good luck, everyone, and thank you for playing. Now that is all that we have for this week. I'm Kiara Clements. And I'm Megan Scott. Have a great week, PHS.